Hi, Hi guys. guys, welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. I am Yudi and I am Jay. Yes, guys, today we are back again with another interesting video about Ghanaians versus Nigerians. Nigerians. Yeah, so before we get into it, I would like you to give this video a like. And if you are here on our channel for the first time, you are highly welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, I would like to say thank you for always coming back to watch our videos, comment, yes. like, and share. Mm -hmm. We do appreciate it so please subscribe and turn on the bell notification to always get updated once we drop new videos yeah so we actually stumbled upon a video on instagram it was actually trending um and it's a i don't even know this nigerian actress and it's a joseph so she posted the video and then she narrated that she went to ghana and boarded a cap so she forgot her two phones one iphone one samsung and then to her greater surprise the ghanaian driver brought back those phones to her mm -hmm. she was shocked so let me quickly read out the posts what she made and um let me read out the post for you guys to see here is the post so she said hmm I encountered an angel in Ghana. I went to visit my sister. She now mentioned the sister's name at her hotel. I forgot my two phones inside this taxi and he brought it back. Now so we begin kabash. My sis and I okay, my sis said I should calm down. Say God no go gree. And it was her birthday. Ah, one iphone and one samsung how i for explain them we were outside already calling bf we saw a taxi wave and said uh, and said i'm coming he brought it smiling chai what manner of human help me pray for him and wish him well you shall not see shame sir thank you thank, thank you. you so that was what she posted that was the write-up and then she she was thanking the man, you know, for bringing that phone back and always also telling people to pray bring and yeah, to pray for him. Yeah, sorry. So in the comment section, what really struck me there was so many people were saying that, oh, Ghanaians are good. They are so trusted. They are this. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say first? Does that with this particular post, does it mean that Ghanaians are more trusted than Nigerians? Or it's mm. just a coincidence or something? I don't, I don't feel it's a coincidence. I just feel like in Nigeria, it's kind of rare to find somebody who would actually do that. Talk, let's say, okay, a taxi driver, you know, they want money. So for him to actually return those phones back is something big. It's something that you definitely say, oh, Ghanaians are more trustworthy. You understand? Because for me, in Nigeria, I don't think any cab driver or taxi driver will return those phones. They'll just... I don't know, I don't know, but I just feel like, yes, Ghanaians are more trustworthy. Well, before we read the comments, mm. what may I have to say is... Every country mm -hmm. has good and, and bad. bad side, yeah. Just like every village is have good and bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe oh, this man did the right thing. Mm -hmm. Like at, at least he be he, he belongs to um that category of they say oh the good, good people. people yeah in Ghana, I believe there are bad people too. Definitely, they are good people. So mm -hmm. that woman was actually lucky mm. to see such a good person. Here in Nigeria too, we have majority of people say hey to send a mirror for who flash yes, that for that's, who that's, sell that's the yeah. point. And we also have good people that will say. Mm, if na me, I'm waiting for do. I, I feel like it am. is rare in Nigeria. <laughs> well, oh, let us check the comment section and see what people are saying. Same. So, the very first comment here, someone said, Ghanaians are so nice, eh? Also, forgot my phone in a taxi from Ghana when I traveled, give birth, and the man brought it back to the hotel or more. Thank you, mommy. Like this one to encounter the same mm -hmm. thing. And and that's um Jemaina. Yeah, yes. She's also very popular. Yeah. So she said she too she forgot her phone in a taxi and the taxi man brought it back to her hotel. Mm. 
na lock you. Wait, wait, there's something I want to say because these people are actually saying this is actually popular people. Is it like okay because those um taxi drivers, cab drivers, they know that okay, this person is popular. You know maybe. when you want to do something because you feel maybe. like oh, this person is popular, I'll definitely can, reward can, yes. you. Yes. What if it's um uh, somebody that is not a celebrity, just another citizen? Will yes. they actually return it? That's, that's another that's the problem point of there, view. yes. And another thing he might be scared that Yes, this yes. person is popular, so there's a, po- a possibility that they'll, they'll see catching. Yeah, uh-huh. that's, another, so, that's another view. I don't think this guarantee that Ghanaians are more. more but yes. anyways, like I said, every country have their good, good and, bad and bad people. Yeah. So, these other comments here said, I can attest to this for Ghana cab drivers. They never speak negative about themselves. They have a camera inside their taxi that record their passengers and trips god bless him oh okay. do you see that okay this person said they have camera in their taxi meaning mm. that maybe you the company self, self yeah. is watching you exactly so should we call that high service or what high service i don't i just feel like it's just the law and orderliness in ghana that's putting them in their place that's just it. Because yes. majority of the taxis and cabs in Nigeria, I don't think there are cameras. Or oh, there like should that. be camera because this particular one really like got to me. You know, mm. there are some people that use this taxi now to yes, do bad things. to do, yeah. Kidnap people. So that camera there mm. will reduce crime rates. It's good. Another person here said, wow, Ghanaians are very honest. Unlike my people. Now, another story now. Chai, may God bless you. <laughs> Nigeria say it's mm. all like my people. Another person said, "We Ghana people are faithful. Real and um, real Anita Joseph. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you for blessing my brother. May whatever you are looking for and it keep um, and keeping you long may this year never end before it arrives." So this mm. person actually is a Ghanaian commenting. Yeah, definitely. The person said that them, they are faithful. The person mm-hmm. is proud of being a Ghanaian. Mm, that's good though. Another person here uh, said, please ma, that doesn't mean you should be too relaxed and be forgetting. You know. Not all of them are that nice. I mean, if the driver doesn't see it, a passenger might see it and take it. Mm. That's another point. Like I said, Every place have bad and good. Mm-hmm. So for the fact that you encounter, um, had an encounter with a good person doesn't mean that everybody mm-hmm. is good. But this this question now is I'm going to stop there with the comments. This one I'm throwing this question to you guys. This particular scenario now and listening to the comments and the points, do you feel that Ghanaians are more honest than Nigerians? Than Nigerians? Let us know. Um, your view, view in the comment section please yeah. subscribe and turn on the bell notification okay so that once you upload new videos you will always get notified to come and watch and don't forget to give this video a like yeah thank you so much thank you so much guys we really do appreciate your time bye